Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week, we're joined by Leighton Ball of Split Second. So first up, me on the Rocknath Monster. Late is playing Bergy Storm. Ball is on Stormvar. And Cameron is on KFC. <laughs> we're good to go. I'll get us started. Draw card. Bloodstained Mire. I'll fetch. I'm going to find a Bayou. Cast Elvish Mystic. Pass my turn. I'll drop play a mountain. Cast a Springleaf Drum. Cast this thingy over here. Crookshanks Cobalts. I'll tap the Springleaf Drum and tap this. Cast a Sensei Divining Top. And that's it. Cool. I'll play Nyland. Mystic Remar. I will pass then. I'll draw. I'll play a Misty and I will pass. Untap. All right. I'm going to feed this fish once. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute, In man. My upkeep, Don't feed I'm going to cast feed it. Feeder. The reason I'm uh, casting, I'm going to find something that will slow everyone down so that Mr. Gamora is not That's not better. That's <laughs> not better. This is already slowing us down. Okay, I'll do it. Giving you a ton of shit. I feel bad. <laughs> Especially because I just listened to the episode of, the new episode of. Into the North? Yeah, where they talk about, and don't bully someone for playing into uh, a fish like <laughs> no, this. No, you no, don't no. know we, what their situation is. Here. No, I, no, I am prepared to be bullied every I am time. always fully prepared to give you shenanigans if, if you, you give me if, shenanigans. If you feed the fish, expect three players to scream at you relentlessly. Yes. That's just how this game works, at least on our table. Especially, yeah, so when you come on to play to win. <laughs> expect a berating you, every yes, time you feed the exactly. fish. Exactly. Collect your youth. I think that's pretty good against Ovar, and it's good against Bergy right now. Collector Oof on top, and go to draw for my turn. Lanamore wastes cast Collector Oof. Pass my turn. I'll attack. I'll draw. Play a land. And he's sale that I can cast Bergy and pass my turn. <laughs> nice. Okay. Captain off Bergy for a turn. <laughs> Pay for Amara. Draw. Play a Nyland. That will be my turn. I'm going to draw for my turn. We'll play Tundra as land for turn. Crack Misty here. 39. Look at a Taiga. Cast a Deathrite Shaman. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw card. City of Brass. Go to combat. Ball, you have a Mystic Remora. I'll attack you for two. Okay, 38. Second main, I will take one off of this City of Brass. Go to 38. Cast Yagmoth. Thran's Physician. I will pass my turn. I'll go to my turn. Draw. Play a mount. Cast Piri. Well, there's a Noof, so yeah, that's my turn. Oh, I put this, it should be here. I'm tempted to pay again. Yeah, maybe I'll stop late from trying to go off next turn. Draw for a turn, island. I have to pass again. I will draw for my turn. Dylan, you have a land in your graveyard, it looks like. I have a Bloodstained Mire in my graveyard, that's correct. I'm gonna exile that for a, and make a green mana. It's gone. Eternal Witness, targeting Misty Rainforest. Yes, folks, that's where we are in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use that as my land for turn and then pass. Untap and draw a card. Verdant Catacombs. Fetch with the Verdant Catacombs. Uh, snow Covered Forest. Go to combat. So I know that Cameron does not play Ad Nauseam even though he's on black cards. I think I'm gonna continue attacking Orvar. Ball, I'm gonna come at you for four. Yet again, the best reason to not play Adnaz. 34. On second main, I will take another damage from the City of Brass and cast my commander. Nath of the Guilt Leaf. Pass my turn. I'll go to mine. I'll untap. I'll draw a card. The command big. Cast uh, Mox Opal. Trigger people. Trigger Remora first. Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh. You, can, you can draw. Okay. I'll just go to combat and, and I'll attack you for three. Me? Yes. Damn, really? 31. And that's my turn. And tap. Uh, I'll not pay. Draw another island. Cast Orvar. I'll go to clean up. Discarding the. Mana creeps, I guess. I'm gonna fetch at the end of your turn. Going to 38. I'm getting a tapped watery grave here. A scalding tarn as the land for turn. We're gonna run out LED. If you get rid of uh, Oof, you can go infinite with for breach lines and the uh, Ariok Salvager stuff. So I will force of negation try to exile it forever. Pitching a muddled mixture. Alright, yeah, that's totally fine. So that will get exiled. Pass the turn. Go to my turn. Untap. Upkeep. Nath has a trigger. Paul, I'm gonna target you with the Nath, if you wouldn't mind, please discarding a card at random. It's a Chrome Mox. Good. A Chrome Mox. I will make an Elf. And then I will draw for turn. I'll play this Snow Covered Swamp. I'm going to cast a Court of Calling. X is two, tapping the Elf Warrior and the Collector Oof. Two drop, okay? Yeah, go go get yourself a two drop. Oh boy, are we getting Hapatra. And there's Hapatra. Damn. Now I. <laughs> 
that force of negation doesn't feel so good now. <laughs> <laughs> With Yawgmoth's ability, pay one life, sacrifice another creature, this tapped 1-1 one, one, and put a minus one, minus one counter on Orvar. Uh, and when I put a minus one, minus one counter on a creature, I get a snake. Hold up, before before Hapacha's trigger goes off. Okay. Pay 15 life, <laughs> go to 23. Uh, oh, fire. Cast fire covenant. Four to Nath, four to Yawgmoth, two to Hapacha. Two to Collector Oof, and then three to Berg. So I have some responses to that. I'm gonna sacrifice Collector Oof to Yagmoth to give Bergy minus one, minus one, and draw a card, and I'll create a snake with Hapatra. Sacrifice Nath to do it one more time on Bergy, drawing a card, making another snake. I will sack the Hapatra, Yagmoth to do it one more time to the Bergy. There's another life to 33, I'll, and draw. I'll activate the top. I'll put it like this. Bergy's that. You're sort of Orvar. You already have one counter that's gonna go on. I thought, you, I thought you fire Covenant in it. No, I fire Covenant Bergy. You did I? Yeah. Fucking a. I no, should have said Bergy. I. I, I wasn't it, really confused as to why you were targeting Bergy. I'm so sorry. I thought you said Orvar. I completely missed that. Okay. Yeah. I guess I'll do that. That's my bad. I should have clarified before I started doing that. I will sacrifice one at a time to uh, give minus one minus one to the Orvar. These snakes that I made. Draw a card and draw a card. Whoops. That was stupid. Okay. Uh, so, I have no responses. So no, yeah. all in all, Fire Covenant will deal four damage to Yagmoth. And then Yagmoth's ability putting with that third minus one counter will resolve on Orvar. Correct, and you'll get a draw. And I'll get my last draw there. So I fucked up that pretty bad. I fucked that up pretty bad. I kind of misheard Cameron and didn't really clarify, I guess. I thought that he was targeting the Orvar with the damage. I, either way, it didn't matter. I should have just kept on repeating the combo with Hapatra and Yagmoth to machine gun the rest of the table, but I left a couple of things alive. I could have drawn four more cards. I, I just, I was focused on trying to keep two snakes in play it doesn't matter i fucked this turn up but i also got to a point in my hand where my hand was good enough so i kind of just like held it off there and just said let me just be done with it before i fuck this up worse fire covenant here was fantastic it really helped me turn the corner in this game and now i can put myself into a spot where i am thoroughly more ahead than the rest of the table i'm gonna cast a mana crypt a root maze in response i'm gonna fetch down to 22 getting another blue black land i will also cast an imperial seal I will find a card and I'll also lose one more life from the City of Brass cast Scavenging Ooze. Pass my turn after that. A turn and step. I'll activate the top once again. This should be my turn now. I'll type draw. I'll sacrifice Command Beacon and try to put Birgi into my hand. Cast Birgi. Just in case. This is Storm. Cast a Lion's Eye Diamond. I'll get a red from Birgi. Cast a Will of Misfortune. Oh. oh shit. I get one minor from Birgi first. Three, Ready? two, one. 10. Zero. Six. 16. Eight. Okay, yeah, I lose 16. So whoever picked the lowest total does not wheel does. and does not take any damage, yes. right? So that yes. was me. I will not wheel and not take any damage, which is what I wanted. I'll go for it. Uh, it's a dual caster mage in the winds of change. I had Sol Ring, Talisman, and uh, Dark Side. Hot Vessel, High Tide, Wing of Volrath, and Mind Games. Oh boy, and you just needed to untap with Orvar, didn't you? Yeah, I <laughs> and Damn. have a little bit good stuff to do. Cast uh, Mox Diamonds. I'll get another Storm and a Birgit Trigger. So I had another red mana. I won't discard anything for the Mox Diamond. I'll yeah. sacrifice yeah. it. Exile a Simeon Spirit Guide for another red. Cast a Veliquid Awakening. Paying the three mana with Birgit. I get a Birgit Trigger. I get another mana. I'll put four on the bottom. Draw five. Four plus one. Cast a Warlord's Fury. Birgit Trigger, another Storm. I'll draw a card. Cast a Skull Clamp. Birgit Trigger. This is probably going to end now. Uh, I'll play the, um, the red man I have and I will equip the Skull Clamp to this thingy. Draw two cards. I play a land. Pass my turn. Okay. Go ahead. Draw. I will play a land. Jewelry Lotus. I will pass. We're gonna use Death Threat to exile your uh, Wheel of Misfortune. Wheel of Misfortune. And have okay. each opponent lose two life. Draw. Play a tap land. Death Threat is gonna activate. We're gonna exile the command beacon and make a make a blue mana. Blue and two, and we'll cast a laboratory maniac. Ooh. Hey, don't get too excited. We're not doing too much with it. We're just gonna be <laughs> <out> there and <laughs> untap. Draw card. Ball, I'm gonna come at you with this two-two scavenging use. No blocks? Yep, just two. Oh, I don't roll for mana crypt. Evens, no damage. Sorry. Main phase two. I'm going to cast Calling Ritual. To activate top and drop. Yep. To top on top. Ten things, I think. Five of each. Assassin's Trophy, that laboratory maniac. Oh, what a drag. 
Okay. Lad man is assassinated. We're gonna go get Find a, a land. island. I'll use one of each. Cast a Wither Bloom Apprentice. I'll use one of each. Cast a Chain of Smog, targeting myself. Trigger yep. Metal Magecraft. Everyone lose one, and I will discard two cards. I only have one. I will try to copy Chain of Smog and target myself again. I want to fail the find situation <laughs> over here. No basics. I forgot to cut it. I'll swan song it. Sure. Yeah, it gets swan song. I get a bird. Okay, so I'll use this four mana, five, six, seven with the colorless, and I will cast Nath of the Guilt Leaf. If Nath is okay, I will pass my turn. Your calling ritual was pretty good here. Your ass trophy stopped me from winning the game. So I was able to stop late and you from kind of winning the game. I just wasn't able to secure a win for myself, and I lost the root maze in the process. Shit happens. At least you were in a spot where you said, you know what, if I'm not gonna win, no one else is winning. Untap, draw a card, cast a sensitive mind top. This is probably not going anywhere, but just in case. I'll get a you get trigger and storm sword activate it off like this chromatic star get another storm and beer get trigger sacrifice the chromatic star i'll add one red so it stays the same and i'll draw a card just a second i'll respond to that i'll get a hull breacher out i guess i won't draw a card play a prismatic vista combat and i'll attack you ball for three and two and that's my turn draw for the turn Ooh. Crazy top deck. Mm. I'll play an island. Cam, you got that mana drain? Hopefully. Time twister. Well, I gotta live on a prayer. We're gonna cast Demonic Consultation. Swan Song. Here comes yeah. Swan Song. You ready? Yep. Look at the top six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, Ooh. really happy that none of them are Swan Song. Swan song. Okay. Oh, okay. That not wasn't that's too bad. Not, that was actually yeah. the luckiest I've ever gotten off of a. Uh, yeah, that was pretty good. It was like 10 cards total. Yeah. All right, we'll cast Swan Song targeting your Time Twister. Yep, I have nothing. Woohoo. Thanks, Cam. Here's the bird. Green Monolith, Felwar Stone, Medallion. I have no cards in hand and I will pass. The draw. Play an Orchard. Cast Gilded Drake. I think what our actual target is going to be is Nath. Okay. Training grounds and then pass the turn. Untap, draw a card, go to combat. Cameron, I'm coming to come at you with five in the air. Blade, I'll come at you with a two, two. I'll take two. I'm at 15. Play Prismatic Vista as my land for turn and pass. At turn and step, I'll activate top. I'll go to my turn, top. Try to crack this fetch. I'll activate top again. I'll play a Scaldic turn. I'll go to combat, still gladly take three. That's my turn. And uh, draw for the turn. Cast Orvar. Cast the Battlefield Thaumaturge. Battlefield Thaumaturge. I will attack with Hole Breacher. This will go at Dylan. I'll take three. I will be passing. On my upkeep, I have a Nath trigger. Late, I'm going to target you to discard a card at random. Oh, Ring. come on. Oh, no. Cameron here, I'll give you oh. an elf. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Why or the L? I'm gonna crack and go to 14 here. Savannah is our go get here. Go to combat. Nath at its owner. Eternal Witness at late. Then we'll cast Kenrith. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw a card. Cam, I'll attack you with a 3 3 flyer and a 2 2 bird. All right, I'll go down to nine. I'll play Strip Mine as my land for turn and pass my turn. I'll go to my turn. I'll draw. I'll activate the top. Crack the fetch. Activate the top. I'll keep this. I'll just pass the turn. And top, up, keep something good. I'll play a Missy Rainforest and simply pass the turn. End of your turn. Gain a quick five life here. Go back up to 14. While you're tapped out, I'm going to strip mine your Tundra. Tundra gone. Go to my turn. I have a Nath trigger. Late, I think you're still the only one with cards in hand. Yeah, I have four cards in hand. Infernal Blunch. So we get another Here's your elf. token here. Thank you. Draw for the turn. Let's cast a Bloom Tender for the combat. Nath is going to come at Dylan, and Kenrith is going at late. Yeah. You with me? Oh, it's just one mana to gain five life. Oh, that's crazy good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it. I, I'll just pass. I'll fetch the Prismatic Fist at the end of turn. Find a swamp. All right, I'm not quite sure what I could get here. That would be helpful. Maybe Eternal Witness. Let's see. Hiya! Exotic Orchard ain't it. I'm just going to pass. Go ahead. At 
your end step a braid targeting the whole breacher. No! Right. I get a, a Birgit trigger. A braid is so good. I'll go to my turn. I'll draw this card. That's a Reforge of the Soul. And nice. I'll cast it for its miracle. Cast. A Birgit trigger. I'm going to Assassin's Trophy your commander. If y'all get a basic. I have two then. I'm discarding two. I'm discarding Misstep and uh, Birds of Paradise. I'm discarding stuff of Domination Ooh. and Close on Curio. Try to recast her. Cast a Rite of Flame. So I have three red. Cast a Seeding Song. Birgi Trigger. Suspend on your Birgi. Yeah, Birgi is suspended. Two time counters or put it in the command zone, which you could cast it again. Yeah, I shall go to the command zone. So Seeding Song results. Cast a Thrill of Possibility. Discard a Mountain. Cam, you get an elf. Oh, I do. Thank you. Uh, I'll draw two. I'll activate the top. Cast a Chromatic Star. Crack the Chromatic Star and make a red. And I'll draw a card. Cast a Magmatic Inside. Discard a land as an additional cost and draw two. I get another 1-1. One, one. I cannot believe this, that you are getting to use Nath so much right now. This is I so love this. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'll, I'll use my last like minor to so look at the top three. Play a land for turn. That's uh, Dwarven Ruins. And that's my turn. I will try to crack to this fetch. 21. Mystic Sanctuary. When it will enter. That's pretty good. You have... Volrath, right? We move Volrath. That's the one. Just sign up a gun. That's my turn. Draw for the turn. Cast Sakashima of a thousand faces. This doesn't win you the game, does it? Um, I don't think so. I think this is infinite storm, infinite mana, but not a win from what I can see right now. I'm going to let your Sakashima go. Pass, I get nothing. Yeah, me neither. Late is tapped out. Yeah. It will enter as a copy of Orvar. Cast Wim of Volrath with buyback. Target is, it will be an island. And I get two triggers from both Orvars. Before those happen, I'm going to draw with Kenrith. Cast Force of Negation, Exile. No, not that one. <laughs> would you exile yeah. Breacher? It would, yeah, it's unfortunate, but it has to be done. Yeah, that's a great one. It could have been anything other than that one. Exile forever. Two islands. These islands will be the tokens. Trade Doctoring, targeting my Mystic Sanctuary, triggering both Orvars to get two copies of Mystic. I will not just change anything. Two Sanctuaries. That will put two cards on top. So one song to the top. And then the second trigger, a mind games to the top. And I will cipher it, of course, on my order. I guess I'll go to combat and see at late. No blocks. Trade doctoring trigger targeting Sakashima. So I would get two Orvars triggers to get two Sakashimas. Four Orvars total. I'll try to play a land. Make Kokoro, center of sea. Tap two Mystic Sanctuaries. Everyone draws a card. We're drawing cards. Cast mind games with buyback targeting one of my islands it would get me four islands in response man this one also sucks but i need the force of will pitching fast as oracle bam you had everything <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything anymore, though. I get four islands, and that's it. I'll pass the turn. Go to my turn. Get a Nath trigger. Dylan. Yes? Will you discard a card to Nath? Discard our Elf. I get a 1-1. One, one, draw for turn. Cast a Lotus Petal. Play Badlands for turn. Blue Tender taps for four. Four, cast a Finale of Devastation. X equals five. Wait, can't you do it for 10? No, I could do it for 10. Maybe that would be good, Cameron. Maybe you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you could give all of your creatures plus 10, plus 10. Maybe that's it would be fair. Bad. Maybe uh, it would be yeah, bad, but maybe it would be good. creatures plus 10, plus 10. That's finale. Yeah. I forgot about that mode. I did forget about this game. It gets better. Finale, X equals 10. Fine with me. Pass priority. <laughs> Just get the oxide. <laughs> get the oxide? Oh, yeah, and give him triple. Outside's <laughs> in my graveyard. That's no, but me wait, right. Finale can get you from the graveyard. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, let's do that. Give him all the examples. Oh, it's that card. Do you guys mind if I get it? <laughs> do it. Please all do right, it. Right, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Get Dockside out of my graveyard. So Dockside Extortionist, enter the battlefield. Crack my treasure just in case. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'll activate the top. 
and oh, then okay. so that's three treasures that I get to make that. Now we can go to combat, so we can set, swing eleven at late. Dylan, you yeah. let's swing at you, Dockside Extortionist, then to just in case. The rest of them are coming at ball. I'm at twenty-one, and I have I have twelve defense, so I basically am at thirty-three. You can three of these alone is thirty-three, and I am going to sacrifice one of these for a red so that they all get trample and haste. Yeah, I got nothing. How are you guys feeling? You have time for another one? We did play two more games of Split Second. If you want to go check those out, go to uh, their channel. They were uh, a little bit quicker, but this game was fantastic. I feel like every person got to at least try to win or do what their deck was attempting to do, right? So I've never ever taken a creature out of the graveyard with that card, nor have I ever had the opportunity to use it for 10. That card has always been Seedboard Muse or Thassa's Oracle is inside of my library and I would like it in the battlefield, please. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon, like our $50 patrons. <clears throat> Tommy the Oddball, Swampy McGee, Peter Larson, Angelo Corsi, Jimmy Midnight, Baby Jeebus, and Mario Hernandez. Thank you guys so much for your patronage. And if you want to check out any of our awesome play to win t-shirt and sweatshirt designs, check it out at our bonfire store down below. If you want to pick up any of the cards you saw today, you can do so at our TCG player affiliate link down below. Our Alter Sleeves affiliate link gets you 5% off of your order, so check it out below there. If you want our play mats, the OG play mats, they're back in stock. Cameron has one over here. Oh my god, look at that. We also so have this play mat with the metal font wow if you want to if you want to get this you can only get it at the $50 patron level uh, and then we also have the destroyer play mats go to our website um, play to win mtg.com thank you check out the Instagram we're doing uh, some deck techs and giveaways and stuff there now yeah. fun if you want a deck box uh, they're available you can buy them there is a link below probably um, not very many but there are some check them out yeah you can look they're 3d printed and you can put your commander in on both sides for partners even I I I took apart Kenrith so I could put a partner deck together. Uh, there, uh, you can fit 100 cards double sleeved. It's tight. But just smush your cards down, and they'll get in there. I have four decks in here that all have 100 double sleeved cards in there, and I think it. Thank works. you guys so much for watching. We'll see you all next time. We will see you in the future next time. What do you look like? I two arms and a face and a penis, one nose, two ears, and a mouth. What I've just described to you is the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs>